Ladies and gentlemen, the official Rise of Kingdoms social media accounts just revealed one of the brand new commanders that was teased just a couple of days ago. And as you can see, it is none other than William Wallace, Guardian of Scotland. And this is a commander that I know so many people have been begging them to add to Rise of Kingdoms. He is such an iconic historical figure. So today we're going to go over everything that was revealed about this commander. And honestly, he's looking kind of insane. First of all, we see his talent builds down here. We have infantry versatility and then a icon that we've never seen before and we can see based on the description here that it says that the new infantry commander also introduces an entirely new commander talent tree smite so we are getting an entire talent tree completely dedicated to smite damage which is actually insane so let's just jump right into it but first of course what's going on guys cheers i just made my coffee for this okay taking a look at the active skill it says that has a rage requirement of a thousand and it deals smite damage to a target troop with a damage factor of 2400 then deals extra smite damage to up to three enemy troops currently attacking this commander's troop okay so we have a single target damage factor of 2400 but if you're being hit three targets it looks like automatically get hit it looks like this is an instant proc smite damage factor so it's not like it'll be a cone aoe or something like that it looks like if you are being hit while your active skill goes off then you instantly deal 300 damage factor to up to three targets. So that's pretty cool. If you're being swarmed, that is a 3,300 damage factor, which is actually pretty crazy. We already have this confirmed let's take a look here as he casts his active skill he smashes the target with his shield he just completely bam let's see that again let's see that again a hey, and bop bop oh yo you saw that wait a minute he got the he got the double hit right there if he got that double hit every time then that means that this active skill is always 2700 right I mean, assuming that someone's hitting you, if, if you are always going to be attacking someone, they're always going to be hitting you back. Then this is always a 2,700 damage factor, which honestly, that looks much better. I mean, that's basically a Huo. This is basically Huo, right? Now he does have the lower rage cost and things like that, but wow, it's minimum. It's like at minimum a Huo, right? Let's say no one's hitting you back. This is still more damage factor than, than Nevsky, for example, right? But assuming at least one person's hitting you, it's as good as a, as a Huo active skill but if more than one person's hitting you it's better than that so yeah this is this is nuts taking a look at the second skill it says while this commander's troop is on the map infantry units in their troop gain 10 percent health 30 percent attack and 20 percent march speed i love this skill for the open field because this gives us march speed that is not conditional okay a lot of times what we'll see is conditional march speed that says you know if you're outside of alliance territory then you get march speed something like that but this is just vanilla health attack march speed i absolutely love this now before we take a look at the rest of the skills if you appreciate breaking news for rise of kingdoms drop a thumbs up on the video and consider subscribing it really helps out a ton okay moving on to the third skill lion of the north it says this commander's troop takes 10 percent less normal damage whenever this commander's troop deals smite damage with a damage factor greater than a thousand there is an 80 percent chance that the damage will be increased by 40 percent wait a minute okay so there's there's a 10 second cooldown here that's a really interesting buff i'm not sure how i i mean the first thing that comes to mind right is that you would want this because a 10 second cooldown is really long right and you don't want to waste this on you know some small damage factor you probably would want to use this for liu che's active skill and to me that would mean liu che would have to be the primary commander because you know if he's the primary then his active skill is going to go off and that's going to consume it most likely but depending on the smite talent tree you probably want to use william wallace as the primary right i mean i imagine the smite talent tree i mean do they uh, maybe they'll show us here in just a second but i imagine that talent tree is going to be better than the attack tree for primary right if we're talking full smite damage but given that this doesn't occur 100 of the time although maybe we'll look at his expertise maybe that changes this but if it only occurs 80 percent of the time it's kind of like you know again assuming that he's the primary it's kind of like boosting this by 30 percent always right and that would make this over a 3000 damage factor so i mean that's pretty good i just i don't love the randomness of this right like one in five skill cycles it's just not gonna work which is kind of frustrating but anyway let's move on here it says when attacking a troop on the map this commander's troop deals 10 percent more smite damage and 10 percent more normal damage 
so these i mean this is it's so odd to me right because the the thing with smite damage is that when they introduced smite damage it was supposed to be damage that was influenced by normal damage multipliers right and here we're seeing the smite damage multiplier and the normal damage multiplier are split into two different things which to me is a bit odd like for example you would think that this would just say 20 percent more normal damage bonus right that seems like that was the intention however they probably realized that that's too powerful because then all of your normal attacks are dealing 20 percent more damage as well right so this is actually really cool um his active skill is going to deal 10 percent more damage Liu Che's active skill is going to deal 10 percent more damage and hit you know the normal damage bonus is going to give him another 10 percent as well so yeah this is it looks like a small bump but really if you look at this it says deals 20 percent more damage with the active skill pretty much for any smite damage commander pretty vanilla but decent let's look at the expertise here it says whenever this commander's troop uses an active skill or is slowed it dispels all slow effects from up to three nearby allied and friendly troops including this commander's troop then grants a damage absorbing mighty shield with a damage factor of a thousand for two seconds with a 10 second cooldown a commander's expertise will unlock yes once all the skills are at max so okay this is really really cool because there are so many commanders in the game that have a slowdown effect these days i mean think about liu che has a five target slowdown huo has a single target slowdown Boudica prime has a single target slowdown those are just three that i can think of off the top of my head but i know that there's other commanders that slow down i'm pretty sure saladin has it although we don't really see saladin that often but what's cool about this is that whenever this commander is hit with a slowdown it is an aoe basically debuff removal right it's a dispel here which is really cool so basically your dispel can go net positive right like you're hit with a single debuff but you have three dispels here at your disposal which is really cool also it's worth noting that there are some talents in the game that do slowdowns i know the the uh, infantry talent tree has slowdowns i think on the top right and there's a slowdown in the support tree the final points in the support support tree have slowdowns and i think that one's actually aoe slowdown so this is going to be huge so not only does he get 20 percent march speed but he's actually just going to be constantly removing the slowdowns he's going to be dispelling them and shrugging them off so he's always moving at top speed which i think is going to be super cool i think right now it looks to me like this is a luce pairing but let's move on and see what else they show yes do they show us the smite tree okay so here we see um number one down here is called to the bitter end and it says every 10 seconds after this commander's troop enters a battle it gains to a two percent bonus to all types of smite damage up to ten percent okay so every 10 seconds you get two percent that's a really slow tick i mean that's going to take a a long time to crank up to max however um if you're going in and out of battle and you're never technically leaving battle i think you'll be able to stack this pretty reliably so 10 percent more smite damage from three talent points is kind of nuts thick skin that's going to be this one down here this commander's troop takes six percent less skill damage beautiful fight or flight whenever this commander's troop deals any type of smite damage all troops hit by the damage lose 45 rage no way bro oh my god wait a minute that's this talent right here so okay Liu Che just became an absolute giga Chad he has to be paired with this dude that is crazy okay he is just gonna be siphoning rage away from everyone on the battlefield that's nuts dude thunderous smite whenever this commander's troop deals any type of smite damage there is a 30 percent chance the damage will be increased by 10 percent so that is the final talent here in the tree now i'm personally really curious what are these other talents here is it going to be worth it to go and grab those talents to go again all the way to the top of this tree it's going to be quite expensive i imagine it'll be about the same amount of talent points as it is to max out the you know skill damage tree for example right so this is some crazy stuff here guys this i don't think we've ever seen a new talent tree come into the game that is going to be this impactful i can imagine this is probably going to really shift the meta and really shift how we look at you know commander pairings for smite damage commanders in the future which is actually nuts now the other thing that's worth noting is that i really wish that this talent tree was around when they implemented gorgo can you imagine if gorgo had the smite talent tree what if they do that what if they retroactively go back and give Liu Che and Gorgo the smite talent tree I think they should I think that they they deserve it okay they finally added a smite talent tree they have committed fully to smite 
and they should go back and give the original smite commanders the smite talent tree that's my opinion i think that they should do that i'm really interested to see how this is going to change things in the meta now here's the other thing though right i actually think you might want to pair this with gorgo now it's worth noting that this is only one of the two commanders revealed right we still have the other commander that looks roman or greek um we don't know what that commander is i think i think it's going to be a rally commander right which historically can be usually they can be used in the open field um and so you know is that commander going to be a smite commander as well like this this commander's best pairing could yet to be shown okay um, which i think is super exciting but here's the thing Liu Che with Alex and Liu Che with CPO Prime already performs extremely well, okay? Especially Liu Che Alex. I mean, they're super fast, instant proc damage, everything about that pairing is amazing. This might be such a good time to bring Gorgo off the bench or to bring Gorgo into the field with somebody other than Liu Che. Think about it, right? Think about it. Now, it they're both single target, which does suck, okay? But here's the thing we're getting the March speed that Gorgo desperately needs. Okay. Yes. Him being primary is going to remove the fact that she has that, that lower rage cost, unfortunately, but him being primary gives them the smite talent tree, which is insane. Okay. He's going to be removing slowdown effects from your Gorgo. Who's already historically slow. He's boosting the normal damage and smite damage for both of them. He's taking 10% less normal damage and smite damage with this talent right here. And if you're being swarmed, first of all, Gorgo is already going to punish people that are swarming you but also you're going to be dealing this 300 instant damage to three targets that are swarming you that's kind of nuts i feel like this could be the perfect pairing for either gorgo or whoever the rally commander is now all in all okay all in all is this a game breaking commander for at first glance right at first glance um i don't know if it's game breaking i think liu che is stronger I mean, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. Okay. I think Liu Che is stronger. He has a 2255 target. I mean, it's kind of an open and shut case there. He also has 20% March speed, right? I mean, there's instant proc on him too. Like there's so much to love about Liu Che. I think Liu Che is still better. Okay. So I don't think this is another Liu Che, but it, it, it completely busts the doors wide open as to what the talents and pairings are going to be. Now that we have a whole new talent tree. And if, I mean, I don't know if they're going to add this to my talent tree to Liu Che or Gorgo. I hope they do because it seems like the, it, they're meant to have it. Okay. But we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, this looks super exciting guys. Now, real quick, just a couple of final thoughts. Um, first of all, giving three nearby friendly troops, a 1000 damage factor, mighty shield is insane because a mighty shield. If you guys don't know layers on top of existing shields. So this will always be beneficial unless they have a mighty shield, I guess. I don't know if they stack. That might be something about gaming knows a little bit more about but giving three allies including yourself a 1000 damage factor shield i feel like that's not something we can really gloss over the supportive nature of just giving out 3000 shielding factor every time that you dispel a a, a slowdown or use an active skill like that's actually insane it is guaranteed whenever you're slowed whenever you're slowed it dispels it's a guaranteed this is really powerful that's why there's a 10 second cooldown here this expertise is honestly super supportive and very very good but if we take a look at the skill breakdown he actually doesn't have that many stats if we're being honest okay 30 percent attack not great the march speed is amazing 10 percent health is just a tiny amount it's nothing like this doesn't break the game right so realistically he doesn't have that many stats um but if we look at his kit you could do a five five one one and you'll still get i mean you'll still get an 80 percent chance of a 20 percent bonus to your uh smite damage here over a thousand and you'll still get a five percent smite damage bonus and two percent normal damage bonus so i mean from a budget build perspective you could do a five five one one or well yeah i mean i guess that would be the only thing because you know i think this fourth skill is probably better than the third one that's just my first impressions um i'm personally going to max this commander most likely uh and i'm really excited to see how it pairs with gorgo you know as soon as we get information for or the next upcoming commander whoever that other commander is you will be the first to know if you are subscribed to the channel with the bell clicked down below guys let me know what you think about this new commander in the comment section below i would love to hear from you guys while you're down there make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kings players might see it and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace